California is doing what California does. Am I right? California weighing proposal that could double its taxes. I mean, it's just more of the same out of California. This is what California does, folks. This is what they do. They take and they take and they take and they take. So the question, though, right? The question is, what does this mean for a real estate? Let's go. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am going to be talking about our socialistic friends to the West, California. Oh, man. I got, like, a love-hate relationship with California, right? Part of me dislikes California because I like America, okay? I'm a fan of America, right? 100% American, 0% socialist, right? So because of my love for the great country of America, part of me dislikes California. But then, but then my love, my, my love of money really, really makes me love California. You see, California does stuff like this to you guys all the time, right? Weighing a proposal that could double its taxes. You see, Holton Wise, we're a very big real estate company, and what we do is we help California investors invest in real estate that makes more sense, right? So I dislike when California screws you guys, but at the same time, uh, California kicking property owners in the teeth doing socialist things, uh, raising taxes, making uh, California much less free than any other place in the country uh, is a big part of the reason why my company exists, right? We solve that problem, the problem of California just ripping uh, the rights of private property owners away, overtaxation, uh, insanely high pricing, um, you know, all that stuff, right? These are all problems that uh, the California government causes. And then companies like mine, uh, we go in and solve those, right? And we are compensated for it quite well. So I got a love-hate relationship with California, but let's talk about this, right? What are they doing, right? They haven't done this yet. They're thinking about it, okay? California lawmakers unveiled a new bill at the beginning of the year that would establish Establish a singer single payer health system. I can't friggin' read. An ambitious plan that would be funded by nearly doubling the state's already high taxes. A new analysis from the Tax Foundation, a nonpartisan group that generally advocates for lower taxes, found that the proposed constitutional amendment would increase taxes by roughly twelve thousand two hundred fifty per household in order to fund the first of its kind health care system. In all, the tax increases are designed to raise an additional $163 billion per year, which is more than California raised in total tax revenue any year before the pandemic. Now, what do I got here? Under the bill, the top marginal rate on wage income would soar to 18.5%. 18.5%. Don't forget, folks, you got federal, too. Oh, my Lord. Well above the median top marginal rate of 5.3%. And the state's existing rate of 12.3%. There would be an 18-bracket system with higher taxes kicking in for individuals who earn more than 150 k That's the thing, right? That's also the thing, right? That's, that's why my business, Holton Wise, we solve a lot of real estate issues, right? 150 k in California is not a lot of money, right? I deal with uh, people living in California all the time, and when they make 150 k they can't afford to buy real estate in their state. They're, they're struggling, right? So uh, it's it's pretty wild that that's the highest rate. But, you know, that's what you get when you get some fucking asshole like Gavin Newsom, man. God, I was really hoping he was going to lose that uh, that recall uh, election thing. I was hoping my boy Meek Kevin was going to take him down. Meek Kevin, man, if I was in Cali, I would have voted for you, bro. Speaking of my guy Meek Kevin, folks, he was on the show, right? He came on Holton Wise TV last year. We talked about that uh, international piece of crap, Clayton Morris. I don't know if you all remember him. He uh, went around and was involved in one of the largest real estate investment scams uh, in America in the turnkey space. Uh, he ended up fleeing, left, went to Portugal. Don't worry. 
I'm not worried about getting sued saying these things because I already got sued by Clayton Morris and I won a $7.2 million lawsuit against that ass hat. Anyway, if you guys are interested in hearing me and Kevin uh, meet Kevin, who did not beat Gavin Newsom. Would have been cool if he did. Uh, talk about it. That's where it is. I'll put it in the show notes. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. 18.5%, folks. 18.5%. That is sad. We uh, put a sad face there, folks. That is a sad face emoji. We are high tech here at Holton Wise TV. This, this is Karl Marx, for those of you who don't know who he is, right? He is not Santa Claus, okay? Karl Marx, not Santa Claus. Next. Oh, another huge picture of Karl Marx. Uh, way to go, tech team at Holton Weiss TV. You sons of bitches didn't even remove the checkered background. That's cool. Whatever. Next. What else we got? Aggressive new California tax hike proposal could accelerate the exodus from the state, right? That's what the Washington Examiner was saying. And that's the thing, right? You're, you're seeing the exodus, but honestly— the exodus isn't even just the whole people moving out of California, right? Like I, I said at the top, right? I see the exodus every day, right? It's part of the problem that my, my company solves, right? As you get these states uh, that just go more and more down the rabbit hole of socialism, communism, taking away freedoms, right? Uh, you start to get the citizens of America, at least I see it every day, the citizens of California, uh, they're pushing back, right? And every single day, a large uh, majority of what my company here, Holton Wise, does is deal with people from places like California. I mean, there's other places too, like Oregon. Don't get me started on Oregon and I know I don't even say it right, but that's the whole thing. Fuck all you Oregon on people that get pissed how I say Oregon. But the thing is, like, we see so many people moving their money, moving their investments out of California, right? They don't want to continue to invest in that state. They don't like where it's going. They're sick of the overregulation. They're sick of their freedoms being sold, right, in the form of, of uh, giveaways so the politicians can use them as currency to buy votes, to buy power, a la Gavin Newsom, right? So you see this uh, exodus from the state, right? Again, it's not just people moving out. All day, Holton Wise, we deal with investors from California who are looking to invest their, their money in uh, properties, in housing that's got a reasonable price point in a market where you actually have a fairly balanced landlord-tenant law, right? Like, ideally, this is what you want, right? Landlord, tenant, you want their rights, their laws. You want them to be even, right? California, it's like tenants have all the power, landlords are down here. That's not good, right? So a lot of people that come to Ohio, right? They come to Ohio, people are fleeing high-tax states, and they come to Ohio to invest in real estate. Now, don't get me wrong, Ohio... It's not like totally the most landlord friendly thing. Again, it's kind of fair. It's not like Arkansas where it's like this. Like, I'm fairly confident if your tenant doesn't pay rent in Arkansas, you are literally allowed to shoot them. Not the case in Ohio, but you get a lot of people fleeing the high tax states like California, going to places that are like Ohio, the Buckeye State, man. Outside of reasonable landlord tenant laws, we got a lot of cool stuff in Ohio, folks. We got all kinds of cool stuff, right? We got this guy, right? Mikey D, Mike DeWine, our governor, way cooler than Gavin Newsom. Am I right? Right? I know a lot of people in California think that this is all Ohio. They think that uh, we're just like farms. Not the case. Yeah, there's a bunch of farms like up in the middle, but we got other stuff going, right? Come on, California. We got cool stuff. We got this guy. All right. Sore subject. Y'all got us on that one. Y'all got that guy. But we got this guy. Right? Are you feeling dangerous? We got Baker Mayfield. Look at that swagger. That is Baker Mayfield. That's a dangerous quarterback. Look how good he looks after being in Ohio for a long time. All right. Anyway, moving on, though. We do have this on a more serious note. I just dropped this video the other day, right? Here's another big thing. If you are uh, out there considering the real estate markets to invest in, and you're in California where the majority of my clients are, and you're like, damn, dude, I can't take it. They just keep pushing, they keep pushing, they keep pushing. You're looking for some other markets. You may want to check out this video right here, okay? Uh, Intel, 
Intel, I just dropped this like literally like the day before yesterday. Intel is investing a billion dollars in Ohio right now, folks. They're building a semiconductor plant, right? Semiconductors are important. Those are the chips that go on our phones, our iPhones, our trucks, our cars. We need those. And you know what happens uh, when you spend a billion dollars to build a semiconductor factory for one of the most needed items in America? You get a lot of jobs, right? Get a lot of jobs. And this, lastly, is just a sweet graphic that I created myself. I did this all by myself. This is Karl Marx, who we've already established is not Santa Claus. And uh, this is America laying the smack down upon Karl Marx. And that's what you could do. You could lay the smack down on Karl Marx if you are interested in moving your money out of a socialistic nation and into a place where you are free to do with your money, to do with your properties as you please, because that's what America's supposed to be like, right? So if you're interested in investing in real estate in the great state of Ohio and you are someone who's feeling that California burn, who's feeling that socialistic agenda destroying your rights, just go ahead and click the notes below. Hop on a call. My team will help you invest in some real estate. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.